Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Pub Crawlers. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kevin. And we have... Craig. Oh. That wasn't for you. That, that wasn't good, guy. man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get me. How a many new, episodes did you got today? I'm gonna need a new partner very soon. Why do we bring him on? I don't because know. Because he's bringing us some yeah. good beer. All right, valid point. Bringing you good beer today, and I'm bringing you a story—the story that got me on this crazy I love beer kind of thing. A long story. We're gonna condense it real quick. I only like short stories. All right. Well, you're gonna love this. One. Perfect. So, high school, college, I wanted. As much beer I could get for as cheap as price, and me and my buddies put all our money together, and we get it, and we, we pile it up, and we drink as much as we can. Definitely, quantity over quality. Something's right? changed. Okay. This beer changed that for me. Now I might show my age a little bit, but uh, I went to a, a, a punk rock show in, in New Orleans by mm -hmm. myself, Thursday or Friday, whatever it was. School the next day, but I went. And it was kind of cold. School it was raining, day. and. Uh, I got there early and they wasn't letting anybody in, so I walked to this little corner store. And in the store, I saw this package, you know, bright yellow, just. Red. And I went for it. I picked it up, I grabbed it, I slid it across. The lady rang me out, and, and I was like 18 years old, and I bought my first genre box. 18 years old? How, really, though? How old are you? New Orleans, man. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. So, so I, I brought this. Now. I sat outside under this little bitty thing. The water was still dripping on me. I wasn't out the rain. And I opened this, and I was like, you know, man, beer can taste like this? It just opened up a whole new... A whole new world for you. Yeah, a whole really? new beer. Like, beer was always super light, and you, you could drink, you know, as many as you want. super cheap. And, yeah, this was a little <laughs> more... But it was just different, and it, right. and it opened up, and that's kind of what got me on this whole beer thing, you know, Craft trying beer. beer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. All right, so um, the, 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 your, your first reaction obviously was, "Whoa, this is different." But why was it different? Is there something that stood out to you? you know, like was it the taste profile? Was it yeah. the smell? Um, what, what it was, was all it? of the above? Well, we're gonna get to there. Well, we're let's do pop it. this open. So Shiner is actually a town in Texas. It's it's roughly halfway between Houston and San Antonio. Easy killer. Easy. Oh yeah. You can have that one. Why? Why not? Thanks. <laughs> Save the best for first. So it's a box, so it's a German style beer, but it's actually lighter than most German box. Okay. I mean, you can look at it. It's it's it's, it's it still is. a lighter beer. Mm-hmm. Give me hmm. that. So it, it's made with roasted barley. About to say it's, it smells it smells very malty, but made with yeah. German hops. You mm -hmm. get that kind of distinct smell uh, from a lot of imported beers in here. It's right. So refreshing. Refreshing. Let's see what happens. And look, I'm telling you, I'm a beer nerd, and my friends give me crap about it all the time. But this this right here is a well crafted, just excellent beer. There's and maybe it's because I had that moment. 20 something years ago right with this beer this is really well you know good. that moment you had it was pretty accurate because this is a delicious beer there's nothing wrong with this beer no it's, it's at clean all. it's crisp it's refreshing it, but it's, it's still not too light and it's not what i was expecting when i took that smell when you look at right. it you're expecting it to be a little heavier it little smells and it looks light. like a dark it's, beer it's like it's it's a it's a not so everyday everyday beer if that makes sense it's just a good beer. They've been brewing this Honestly. since 1913, and they used to just put it out, out around Lenten time. Okay. As a, as a celebration kind of thing, but you know how crazy ass Texas people are. They wanted it all year round. Everything's bigger and better in Texas. Great. How do you say this brewery name? Spoitzel. That's Ooh. the original brewer's Spoitzel. last name. Spoitzel? Spoitzel. It's German. German. Hmm. Okay. Well, you gotta show the people what you're talking about. But you see Sports that yellow? You can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, buy a six pack or 12 pack, and then you'll be able to see it. It's That's right. Great, That's right. Great beer. 
Just All right, so it. this one's really good. So, so that's their flagship. They put out a couple of different beers, but for a long time, Shiner's kind of just pumped you know, the buck. Yeah, they pumped the buck. That that's definitely what Karen. They haven't really come out with anything new. Well, this year they have two new beers. Okay. So we have a Wicked Juicy. We've had this discussion mm. before. You're not doing your employees a, any kind of justice as a brewer if you don't have a juicy IPA because that's the hottest thing right now. Right. And then we have uh, their new sessionable, Day Quencher. Okay. Sessionable, uh, anything under five percent they consider a session IPA. Okay. Uh, session. All right. Very cool. Ale. Tell you what. I said IPA. But I mean, Wait, hold on. Let me take these glasses from you. Man. Okay. You almost really like that China bun. It's a good beer. All right, guys. Be right back. Man, he's right. And you know what? It's good beer. We're going to enjoy these beers for what they're supposed to be. We could talk, oh, it's these hops and okay. blah, blah, blah. No, these beers are made to be drank. So we're going to drink these beers. <laughs> I like them. I just want to know what you, you know, if you like them, if you don't like them. Let's not get all crazy with it. Okay. Well, you know, you say that. I'm reading the back of the can. They actually have um, all the explanation of the beers in the back can if you really want to read it. But uh, let's drink it. You know Is what? I like juicy? this one so much, I'm going to finish it off. <laughs> You know, and, and it's been around for so long, Shinerbach, that it does kind of get forgotten. You know? Right. I have a question. Sure. Uh-oh. If this is the flagship, and we drew, why are we drinking this one out of a bottle and the new ones out of cans? These new ones are only coming in cans. You can get Shinerbach in a can. Can you? Okay. A lot of people are going you get to it? can. Can you? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Mm. A lot of people are going to the can, especially craft-wise. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. You have the best questions and also the best jokes. You do. Yeah, and the worst. <laughs> no, ser all seriousness, uh, they put it in the cans, it has a longer shelf life. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot sense. of smaller craft breweries, and, <clears throat> and you can take them more places where you can yeah. bring can, you know, to the beach. Or yeah, it's, it's easy to hold, you know, the cool little six-pack holder, Yeah, recyclable. Some cool. people say they get colder, you know, there's, there's all those arguments. But uh, for me, I just think you get a little longer shelf life. Light is, you know, can kill your beer, can skunk it up. Right, so, which is why the <clears throat> majority of the beers that, that we're familiar with have this dark bottle. Mm -hmm. It's because exactly. if the light hits it, it'll change the flavor of it. So exactly. a can, it cannot happen. <laughs> ah, you're learning, yeah. you're learning. <laughs> Sorry. So let's see how right, wicked guys. this is. So you could tell just by looking at it, this is an unfiltered beer. Um, and you, you know, smelling this one. Yeah, you cannot even see your fingers on the other side of the glass. You know my rule. Love it. It's a good rule. You shouldn't be able to see your finger through the Okay, glass. I'm learning. Also, another very good beer. It's pure citra hops on there. <clears throat> Absolutely. You get that too? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're gonna drink the whole thing. It looks like juice. It does. I'm liking that, man. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's night and day from the original Shiner Bach. Oh, absolutely. But it's it's good in a different way. It's, it's refreshing, but you still it's more of the hop. So if you guys are hophead, I mean obviously it's an IPA. Hey, you want to hear a corny joke? Always. You said it's night and day. Mm-hmm. Is in a bock a dark beer? Oh, this wow. is an ale night day. You're good at this. I know why you keep him around. <laughs> That's why I'm here, guys. <laughs> the old so guy. sorry. <laughs> hey, we're just having fun. Yeah, absolutely. So that you get that heavy citrus, you get that flavored profile. That it. I've said it, you know, a hundred times on this show mm -hmm. now. Juicy IPAs or what's it's it's, it's, over. it's what's hot right now, mm -hmm. and you know I, I can taste why. It's it's just it's something different. It's bursting. But, oh. It's bursting. You're always so right. It's <laughs> bursting. Climb in. Yeah, but but you know I mean you're done. We're done. We're ready to move. We're on. done. We're moving on. Man, we just said we're not going to spend time. We're gonna appreciate these beers for what they are, and they are to be well, drank. Well, you know what? I will. Yeah, but I thought we was gonna like drink this. One. We're gonna finish them. We will when we cut. All right. Well, I will save my explanation right back. for another segment when we talk about another different or a different juicy IPA because they have how many different juicy IPAs are out there now? Not it's, enough. Oh, good answer. <laughs> this guy's learning. What is this one? Day Quencher. It's a sessionable. A sessionable ale. Ale, sorry. 
Ooh. Just tell you what a session beer was. You well, sure well, did. What was it, Kev? Means I could drink it all day long. Well, you definitely can. <laughs> but only if I start in the morning. <laughs> So basically, this is under 5% alcohol is what okay. they call special. I might have been reading my can when you were Some talking. people say crushable. You know, there's, there's so many words now. Crushable. Yeah. Well, the can is crushable. And this will be lighter than that wicket. Sorry, I think that joke was worse than yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was... you, you got the award now. All right, let's see what we drink. Ah. <laughs> Cheers. That's Cheers. why you guys aren't comedians. Or not? You do a beer show. Mm. And wine and spirits. That's true. Ooh, yeah, we should get Craig on for a wine and spirits <clears throat> segment. You think so? Mm, just, just let, let's see how much he knows about wine and spirits. Let me know when you do a gin one. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been watching. I'm just going to walk away. This one's great, man. Yeah, this is super easy. This is a tailgate beer. This is toss okay. the football around. Uh, drink 25 of them and mm. cook a pot of gumbo. Come on, in, man. In, in the When's the nap come in? <laughs> After, After the game. Okay. After the, oh, yeah, good call. Yeah, okay. Noon kickoff, right? Depending where you live. Craig, okay. man, I like what you brought us today. Spoitzel, is that how you say that again? Spoitzel. From I Shiner, Texas. To you guys. I like it, I like it. I really yeah, appreciate you it. Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, I know. You're right. But no, this really is a good beer. It's extremely refreshing. It's very light, mm -hmm. and like you said, it's crushable. But between these three, if you got all three at your house, you're gonna have something for somebody if you're having That's a party. Right. Somebody's gonna like at least one of these beers. It's a good way to look at it. They're not overly crazy crafty, mm -hmm. but they're still delicious. Right. They're all very, very enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. I would have to agree. I would have to. I agree. enjoyed enjoying them with you guys <laughs> today. Hmm. Just so, so many puns today. Hey, Thanks, man. Guys. Sometimes it happens like that. All right, can we get the other beers back? I want to drink the... Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. Next video. Don't listen to his jokes anymore. He's going to come back on eventually. We're pub crawlers. He's stealing my lines, but keep crawling with us. Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kev's cut off. Yeah.